Hey guys, it's your old pal Seenable here. Anyways, I bet most of you have heard of Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, most people. Well, this May 2nd, 2019, is the 500th anniversary of da Vinci's death. So I thought, in commemoration of him, I'd make a video about him. So the first thing about Leonardo da Vinci you probably did not know is that his parents were not married when he was born. Now, I couldn't find any information of whether or not his parents married later into his life, but if any of you do know, just say so in the comments. Now, his parents probably were not allowed to be married, seeing as his father was an Italian aristocrat and his mother was most likely, according to scholars, an escaped slave from Azerbaijan. <laughs> His parents weren't married? <laughs> That's hilarious. I'm going to go make fun of him on Twitter about it. Wait, hold on. So, the, the second thing you should, you probably don't know about him, is that he was homeschooled as a kid. Due to the fact that he was illegitimate, he wasn't allowed to go to any, uh, any actual school, so he stayed home and was taught mathematics, reading, and writing. Ah, he was homeschooled. I got to the Bible, except... I don't teach him writing and history and science and mathematics and reading and all that stuff you need in the real world. Now, all I teach him is how to go up to a Democratic conference and call them dirty dams and libbies and teach him to raise his Confederate flag while chanting the South Rise again. Um... The third thing you should know about Leonardo da Vinci is that many of his works are unfinished, including St. Jerome in the Woods, The Adoration of Mary, and a few others. It was the master procrastinator. Yep, pretty much. Anyways. The fourth thing you should know about Leonardo da Vinci is that he was a strict vegan. So strict, in fact, that he even openly questioned the ethics of eating animals when you didn't have to. <laughs> vegan? Oh my god. Vegans are so stupid. I mean, like, choicefully deciding not to eat certain products and then going on with your life. How condescending do you have to be? I mean, they think they're better than everyone else by not going to a meat-exclusive restaurant and ordering a hamburger with 20 burgers in it. I mean, how condescending do you have to be to not order a pizza with steak, pepperoni, pork chops, and every single kind of meat you can think of on it. Uh, let's make fun of every single vegan we meet, because then we're totally not being condescending. I mean, how condescending do you have to be? Sixth, he was the first person to ever explain why the sky was blue. He was so passionate about animal rights. And he would go to the marketplace and buy caged animals just so that he could set them free. Cool. Seventh and finally. Da Vinci's last words were, I have offended God and mankind. My work did not reach the quality it should have. So, 
To put that into perspective, Leonardo da Vinci, the man was painted this, the Mona Lisa, believed that his work did not reach the quality it could, should, or would have. Wow. Anyways, I leave you off with all that, and I hope you have a nice weekend.